Hello everyone, NabLabs here. Today we're going to be making a very simple app where we can increase and decrease the text size through code. Let's get right into it. So you can see that we have a very simple scene setup where we have a no2d as our parent scene. We have a label with um, just a couple properties, uh, right? And I just wanna make a couple things uh, clear. You wanna make sure you have the minimum size set to a desirable amount because uh, it helps with the, the overall design and look. You wanna make sure you have expand and shrink center on. And when we get down here into the fonts tab, you want to make sure, and I can even clear up this one, I can show you right from the beginning, ready? If I clear it, you can see you want to make sure you have a new dynamic font. Uh, once you create a new dynamic font, you go over there into the font data, or you click the font tab, and then you go to font data, and then you drag in your font file. And, and I want to mention that Godot takes in a variety of font formats, but uh, .ttf is a really good one and I'm going to be using Kenny Mini Square font file. It was made by Kenny Assets and I'll be leaving a link to where I got this uh, got the fonts from and I'm just going to be using that. So there we have my little font and I'm just going to set the default to like I don't know 20 or something and that's the basic scene setup. Hbox container just divides these two so they're on the same like a uh, row but they're split at half a half. You can even like that's just how to say if you want. And yeah, that's all I have to say for this scene tree. And now we're going to go straight into the code. And you can see that the code for this is very simple. And I forgot to mention one thing. You want to make sure that when you click on your label node, you want to make sure you right click and save this file. The reason you want to right click and save it and name it whatever you want is because this is the only way you can actually dynamically change the font size through code. And I'll show you right now. To gain access to this .trs or tres or style file, I'll call it, you want to make sure you just do preload. Oh my god, I can't spell. Preload, and you just want to drag and drop this in between those parentheses. And that's all you have to do. Now I'm getting yelled at by Godot, but uh, yeah, you just want to put them to a variable, right? And then do on ready var, so it's uh, declared at the beginning of the frame. Have a fixed amount, and you want to have two buttons, or the two things you're setting the dynamic uh, text size from. So you're just going to have a label style dot size, because if we go over here into our label, and we see that size is a property and we can just manually or dynamically edit it through code. And yeah, that's all we, I have to say for this tutorial. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I could not find anything like this online and I'm just helping other people out. That's all I have to say for this. Have an amazing day.